Hey Conway, I'm Brianna and this is WTGR News. Before we start our news today, I have on the screen right now and it has a number 12 in it because there's 12 more school days until Christmas break. All right, there will be a fundraiser at Pizza Inn for Christian McBee from 4 to 10 p.m. on Thursday, December 6th. Everyone should attend this very special event because it is for a great cause. Reflections Literary Magazine's theme this year is sometimes the name they give you is all wrong. Faculty and staff submissions are also encouraged because we are all the voice of Conway High School. And congratulations to the new National Honor Society members, Krista Alford, Taylor Badley, Brittany Bell, Nicole Benson, Alexa Calder, Parag Desai, Ashley Harm, Whitley Johnson, Kristen Motti, Tiffany Pickett, Ashley Sylvie, and Tequisha Spain. Way to go, Tigers! In local and state news, it's not even December yet, but the flu is hitting South Carolina hard. The flu has already killed one person in Barnwell County. Flu season started earlier than usual, but the flu is not the only thing you should be worried about. Health officials estimate 400,000 people in South Carolina will get the flu during flu season. It is recommended that you should get a flu shot, but just because you get a flu shot doesn't mean you will not pick up some strain of the flu. In national news, the fatal shooting of a Florida teenager who was listening to loud music in a car a week ago has drawn comparisons to the Trayvon Martin case. Michael David Dunn is charged with murder and attempted murder in the November 23rd shooting in Jacksonville, Florida at a gas station. The 45-year-old Dunn parked beside the sport utility vehicle occupied by Davis and three other young men and told them to turn the music down, police said. Dunn exchanged word with Davis, who was in the back seat, and then started firing. He later told police that he felt threatened. His attorney has said Dunn saw a gun and shot in self-defense. Standing over his son's casket, his father promised to fight laws that allow people to carry guns outside of their homes. Well, Conway, that's all for your news. Over to Club and Guidance, and then Matt with your sports. Hey Conway, listen up for your club and guidance announcements. Beta Club, the next meeting is on December 4th. And please remember to meet in the gym at 3.30 on Tuesday for the yearbook picture and wear your Beta Club shirt. Key Club, the next meeting is December 11th at 3.25 in the Mini Auditorium. Honor Societies, English Honor Society's next meeting will be December 18th. Social Studies Honor Society's next meeting is December 11th. National Honor Society's next meeting is December 12th. Tri-M Music Honor Society's next meeting is De December 10th. And Spanish Honor Society's next meeting is December 17th. FCA meets every Wednesday morning at 745 in Miss Spearman's room, and everyone is welcome. That's all for your club and guidance announcements, Conway. Hey, Conway. I'm Matt here today with your sports. Wrestling, Varsity and JV won both their matches against Georgetown and St. James. A big win goes to Chris Ford, who with his win gave the Tigers a much-needed boost. Also, Trayvon Anderson wrestled a weight class above his normal weight class and performed outstanding. Robert Springer won both his matches and also performed outstanding as well. A shout-out to all those guys for performing great. Now let's go take a look at our Tiger scoreboard. Wrestling, JV and Varsity, Conway won and beat St. James and Georgetown. Sports lineup, college, SEC championship, CBS at 4 o'clock, Georgia versus Alabama. The ACC championship, ESPN at 8 o'clock, Florida State versus Georgia Tech. Big 12 championship eight, on ABC at 8 o'clock, Texas versus Kansas State. That's all for your sports, Conway. Now over to Chelsea with the weather. Hey there, Conway. I'm Chelsea here with your weather. Today we have a high of 66 and a low of 38 and a 0% chance of rain. The humidity is at 53%. For your weekend forecast, Saturday will have a high of 67 and a low of 44. Sunday will feel beautiful with a high of 70 and a low of 46. That's all for your weather. Now back to Brianna in the studio. Thanks for that awesome weather report, Chelsea. Now let's check out the feature of the day, Dancing for Donuts.
Thanks, you guys, for that great feature. Well, Conway, that's all for your news. Have a great weekend, and stay classy.